Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. As you can see, we are starting off this video in my homeschool room. Um, it is a homeschool day. I did not get ready to film this video, hence my um, makeup free face. And I wanted to make this video because something I've been getting asked a ton this year especially has been how long does Math 5 from The Good and the Beautiful actually take us to complete. Now, I wanted to thank The Good and the Beautiful for partnering with me on today's video, but I wanted to sit down with you guys here in my homeschool room before we do a math lesson with my daughter in real time. I did not pick a lesson ahead of time that might be faster or might be longer, like this is just the lesson that she's on for this day. But I of course wanted to state the obvious, which is math is going to vary largely depending upon your child. Uh, if your child understands the math concept, they will probably move through it more quickly. If it's a struggle for them, which sometimes that just happens, um, then that will obviously take longer. So I never think that it's wise to base your child's uh, speed in which they complete something on someone else's. So I'm simply making this video for a frame of reference for you guys because I also think that there might be a bit of unrealistic expectation when it comes to how long math is taking. So being that I have been homeschooling for almost 10 years and I have two kids in high school and we've been through pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, now into algebra two, I can confidently tell you that math is the subject that takes the longest in homeschooling. So if you're looking for your middle schoolers, your upper elementary school aged children, and especially your high school aged kids to be done with math in 20 to 30 minutes, that's just not actually going to happen, um, at least in my experience. Maybe there's a curriculum out there where that might be the case, uh, but in my experience, math is the subject that does take the longest amount of time, and I kind of think that that's the way that it should be. So I think some of what we need to do when we start asking the question, how long is this taking my child, is evaluating if our expectation as the mom or as the homeschooling parent is the problem. So math shouldn't be taking your uh, fifth grader, your sixth grader, it shouldn't be taking them 20 minutes. It should honestly be taking a little bit more time than that because they're learning higher level concepts. They're learning more um, and they're capable of more. So for us on average, math uh, for my daughter who is using the good and the beautifuls uh, simply good and beautiful math five it takes her about 30 to 45 minutes uh, she does the video portion which is optional you can teach the lesson using the mini lesson if you prefer she enjoys the videos so she does do the videos those range but average about 10 minutes then she moves on to the lesson for that day and then there's a review portion in every lesson which she completes after that, I check over her math using this answer key, which I'm showing you guys, and then she goes back and makes her corrections. If she's unable to make the corrections, then I know that we need to spend some time going over that specific concept or that specific problem, and then we do that. After we are completed with math and it is checked off and it is all correct, because at this age, I require them to have every answer on their math lesson correct. If not the first time, then definitely the second time because then I'm working it with them. After that, we do go through and do um, a few mental math um, uh, problems through here. Sometimes, depending on what they are, if, if it's been a little bit challenging for her, then we might do one. They're very short, but they're just for strengthening mental math concepts. I can't rave about this enough. So we that is like everything that I'm doing in math for her at this age. Uh, in the past, we've used the Good and the Beautiful's previous math uh, versions before they were modified into the Simply Good and the Beautiful math. Uh, I've used teaching textbooks, I've used Horizons math, and I currently am using for my high schoolers and my upper middle schoolers um, 
Shoreman's Mathematics. So just to give you an idea of the different math programs that I've used through the years of homeschooling, those are the ones that I've used. I love Simply Good and Beautiful Math. Ever since they revised it and condensed it, I think it's even better than before. And so she's been doing the Good and the Beautiful's math for the last few years. Um, and we will continue with this. So she's in Math 5. This year, next year, she will be in Math 6. And then depending upon what the Good and the Beautiful really says by that point I'll make an evaluation on what we're gonna do moving forward for uh, pre-algebra or algebra um, so that is my little intro to this video now I'm gonna tell you guys the time that we start her math lesson and the time that we finish it to give you an idea of how long math is taking us in the fifth grade using simply good and the beautiful math level five obviously from the good and the beautiful I'm very very happy with it my daughter really really loves it and I think it's a great combination of parental involvement and independence when it comes to math because this is one subject in my homeschool that as my kids get older I do uh, take a hands-off approach with so that is the direction that I'm moving towards I am NOT an algebra teacher and I never wanted to be one and you don't have to be one either because thankfully we have amazing resources to teach our kids math from home okay so it is 1256 almost one o'clock she's getting ready to start her video right now um, she does it on the iPad with her video so she's gonna start with watching the lesson she's on lesson 55 in math um, 5 here so about halfway through the course and today's lesson is on probability so she watches the videos and then we will kind of I'll ask her did you understand everything make sure we're good um, if she doesn't understand it then I will go over the mini lesson with her but in general these videos do a really great job at introducing the concept and getting her going so that's what she's gonna do now starting just before one o'clock so I'll check in with you guys and let you know just how long math is taking So she finished up her video which was about a 15 minute video today and um, this section here is a part of the mini lesson if they didn't watch the video so she's gonna head right on to the practice section here uh, with these different problems uh, talking about probability and um, so it looks like there's a total of seven different problems and then the review section on the back which is stuff from previous lessons so seven practice problems today with probability obviously these are a little more involved than basic arithmetic problems but that's what we're working on today so 15 minutes in and she's ready to get on to the practice suppose you write a fraction so there's two options right mm -hmm. so you have a one out of two chance of it landing on heads and then you have the same chance of it landing on tails right Using a yellow or blue marble so that's if you add them together so it said 20 for yellow and 40 for blue so if you add those together 60. so you have a 60% chance of choosing a yellow or a blue one All right, it is 1.35 right now, and we just finished up with the lesson for today. So now she's on to her review section. Um, I did a lot of the probability lesson side by side with her, so she I won't need to check it because that's already done, but I will have her do this completely independent, and then I will check it at the end. Since it is a review section, she should have this mostly mastered, um, and if there are mistakes, then we will go back and correct them. But so far, we're about 35 minutes into math for today. So it's just before 2 o'clock, and she finished up the review section. So I'm going to check that, and uh, that will be it for her math lesson today until we do our mental math, which that takes about 5 minutes. So right now, we're around the hour mark. 
um, provided that there's not a lot that we need to go over here, but I'm gonna check that first and then I'll let you guys know um, what we're looking at time-wise, but so far right about an hour for math and I would say that that is average, um, average across the board for my fifth grader using this math course as well as my older kids who are utilizing an upper level math course that the good and the beautiful does not have math like I said, is the subject that takes the longest. Okay, so I finished checking her math lesson and she just has two simple things that she needs to uh, correct. Sometimes it's simple things like uh, when the um, w problem will say list them from least to greatest, sometimes she'll do it greatest to least and then um, simplifying fractions, sometimes we overlook small things like that. So those few things will just take two seconds and then we will do our mental math mysteries for today. Um, and that will be a wrap on her math lesson. So like I said at the beginning, about 45 minutes to an hour is probably our average and today was consistent with that time frame. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Like I said, please don't compare your children to others. But if you're wondering how involved, how lengthy, um, you know, I know it can be helpful for someone to kind of say, well, this is how long it takes us. But please know that that varies day to day. I mean, we have had days where we're doing math problems for a while until we understand them. And then we've had shorter days as well. So just as an average, I would say 45 minutes to an hour in my experience is normal for Simply Good and the Beautiful Math Level 5. Um, and just be reminded that your children are yours, no comparison. This was just for a frame of reference. So if you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you guys again really soon. Bye friends.